Hello everyone, it's Terhi here with another Hip Kick Club layout. This one is made with December kits, especially with uh, December color kits. These Simmer paints are from Color Kit and I love them. Um, I'm starting with white cardstock and Simmer paint. I made a little layer of clear gesso on the background to make sure it uh, takes these wet paints on it. Uh, and I use again my little medicine tool, syringe, uh, to blend this uh, paint because it's quite thick and I want to flick it with my uh, brush so I add some water to make it uh, much, much more liquid. Uh, I'm first flicking this turquoise paint. Uh, I want this background to be uh, kind of light, so not too much color. Uh, my photograph is very light uh, as well. It's a little detail from our stable. We had this uh, lovely, lovely snow, snow, snowing, rain, whatever. Lots of snow and cold. Uh, so I took a little photograph of this tiny little detail and it was so beautiful so I want this uh, layout to be light as well. Um, once this turquoise paint is dry I make um, same kind of mix with uh, the yellow one but it's kind of okra color so I added some Prima Marketing um, makeup powder. Was it makeup powder? Yeah, uh, to make it more um, bright yellow. Uh, I don't want it to be too okra or mustard yellow. I want it to be bright yellow. So uh, the powder was good solution for that. Uh, I'm flicking this yellow one just like the turquoise one. It doesn't matter uh, in what order do I add these uh, flicks of mist. Mist? No mist. I'm talking what I blah blah blah. So. It doesn't matter in which order you are um, adding these uh, drops, at least I didn't care. Uh, but of course you might uh, want to start with the lighter one and then go to the darker ones to make sure you don't add too much the dark colors. Uh, then I'm making my paper cluster. Uh, I'm using all papers are from the December. December paper kit and I chose some yellow paper and lots of white and uh, greens turquoise and teal green and I guess there's some blue as well um, I also took these uh, die cuts great paper die cuts and I'm adding to bigger biggest pieces between the layers to get more colors and kind of to use them because I'm really bad to use them um, by themselves. So I thought if I add these between the layers, I get lots of lovely details and also I get to use them. So this was a great idea. I'm so proud of myself. No, just kidding. Um, so I'm using a stepper again to create this, this um, paper cluster. And um, I'm not using all straight lines this time because there is snow in the picture. So I wanted this to be uh, as free as snow. <laughs> so, so I tear the paper and not cutting it. Uh, this paper piece behind the photograph is even because it kind of calms this down. Later I'm adding some lace, uh, which is also, um, it's soft, but it's not even, so it's important for me to have something to calm this layout down. Uh, these golden pieces are from Heidi Swap, and it's, it was brought in this uh, Project Life Kit, December Project Life Kit, but I wanted to use these golden pieces. And now I'm used, uh, adding this uh, lace kind of thing. It's not actually 
uh, place. It's kind of sisal fabric something. I don't know. I should ask from the a lady who gave it to me, but it creates nice nice texture on the page, uh, page without adding any any media. So it was nice. I'm still adding some gold elements. It it kind of frames this uh, paper cluster nicely, and I'm using 3D foam to get this uh, picture popped out from the paper layers. Uh, these are quite thin 3D foams, like one millimeter, one millimeter or something, not three or. Uh, very thin. So, this is how it's going to be. Uh, I'm using this American Craft uh, words for my title. Um, as you see, this beautiful word is very beautiful, but it's also very, very shiny. Uh, it has this kind of glitter on it. So I was wondering how to make it more, don't know the word, but uh, like fit, fit to the page better. So uh, after I added these little letters from Studio Calico, um, I, I took my gesso to make some dry brushing on the title. You will see it in a few few seconds or minutes. Um, I love these little letters from Studio, Studio Calico because it was so easy to add lots of uh, text. This is a lot of text for me to add like three words or something to this layout. Uh, it Because these letters are so teeny tiny little, it was easy to add them. So now I uh, added some mists, but still the title popped out too much. Uh, I used uh, November, oh no, December kit or November kit. Anyway, this Haiti uh, swap mist was from Hip Kit Club as well. So now I'm adding this gesso on top of this uh, title, just here and there, not all, but. Uh, to have some some lightness and whiteness on the on the title, it was kind of nice idea. I'm also adding these two enamel dots which I added before, just to make sure it doesn't it all goes well together. That's my main goal. As the title say, details are beautiful. That's what I think, and. In every single layout I make, I'm trying to think what looks beautiful in details, and usually take come up by themselves. You don't have to make details. When you add a lot of layers, you get a lot of details. Like, not in purpose, but it is my purpose. So, here it is. I hope you like it. I know I did. So, thank you for watching and I hope you are inspired. We'll see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!